Dr. Eric here to discuss what PSA is, why it's important, what your test results mean, and what the next steps might be. If you have any questions after watching the video, please post in the comments section below. PSA is one half of prostate cancer screening, which should be performed annually in all men from age 50 to 70. In some men, it should be started earlier if they have a strong family history of prostate cancer. PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen. It is an enzyme produced by the prostate tissue cells that is important in making semen less thick and gel-like. When we talk about PSA for men, we're really referring to a blood test that measures the level of this enzyme floating around in the blood. The reason this test is important is that it can give us a clue as to your prostate health. Having a low PSA is never a bad thing, but having a high PSA could signal a problem. There are several conditions that could cause your PSA to be high. The most important, of course, is prostate cancer. This is the whole reason that we perform the test in the first place. We're trying to detect prostate cancer early in order to make it more treatable and hopefully curable. Prostate cancer isn't the only issue that can cause a PSA to be elevated though. Prostate inflammation or infection, which often has no symptoms, can cause an elevation in the PSA as well. So can having a large prostate. Other things such as a urine infection or a urinary catheter or retention of your urine or having had a recent camera exam of the bladder can also cause the, the PSA to elevate. If you ejaculate within 24 hours to the blood test, this can also cause a slight elevation in the PSA value. One of the things I mentioned that can increase your PSA is having a big prostate. This is important because as men grow, their prostates naturally enlarge. So it's normal and natural to see your PSA increase as you age. That's why what's considered a normal PSA changes as you get older. For a male in his 50s, the PSA should be less than 2.5. In your 60s, it should be less than 4.5. And once you're into your 70s, it should be less than 10. It's also important to keep an eye on the rate of the change of the PSA as well. And what I mean by this is that if you're 60 and your PSA is 0.5, but next year it's 1.2 and the following year it's 3.5, that could be a problem. Even though that 3.5 is less than 4.5, the rapid increase in the PSA can hint at a problem. When the PSA is high or rapidly changing, your doctor should, your, should refer you to a urologist. Your urologist will then suggest some additional testing. This could include some more specialized types of blood tests, such as a prostate health index score or a 4K score or a free PSA percentage. Alternatively, a prostate MRI, which is a type of imaging scan, can be useful in select cases. Most commonly though, the next step is a prostate biopsy, a test that samples the prostate tissue for cancer cells. I'll put up a card for a video on prostate biopsy. The most important thing to understand about PSA is that it's not a perfect test. A high PSA does not mean there's cancer. Don't panic if your PSA is high, but definitely see a urologist and have some additional testing done. I hope that this information on PSA has been helpful and allows you to better understand your blood test results. If you're ever unsure of what your next step should be, see a urologist for more information. It's always better to be safe than sorry. You can make an appointment to see me through my website on the screen and in the description below. As always, if you've found this video helpful, please comment and subscribe below. Thank you.